there beautiful people and welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know me now you do my name is Nawa, and in today's video as you ladies and gents can see by the title i am going to be talking about my miss capricorn pageant um experience right so i'm not gonna waste any time on the intro i'm just gonna get into the video but before i do so just a quick reminder please do not forget to subscribe to my channel give my video a thumbs up and also check me out on my social media platforms about the Miss Capricorn district um, pageant which I had entered last year around September yeah I think it was around September I went to the auditions in September and the grand finale event was in December so it was a journey of about three months or so so today I'm going to be talking about that so in today's video I'm basically going to be covering um, my experience in the pageant you know the journey overall what I had obtained my advice and what I have learned um, at large. So I hope you ladies and gents will enjoy today's video So the first question is why did I enter the pageant the reason why I entered the pageant I'm not really quite sure about it because when I entered the pageant at that time I didn't really thought about it that much So I just saw the the poster on I think on Instagram and then I just decided you know what since I live in Limpopo Why not try something new? And then that is when I decided to enter the pageant. So from then, I entered the pageant, signed up on their link. After signing up on their link, they had the audition date, which I think was on the, the first, second, the beginning of September. I remember it was the beginning of September. So they gave us the venue. It was based in uh, Garden Court, which is situated in Polokwane. And then we went there on that day. We did auditions. I was so, so, so nervous. I don't want to lie to you. When I entered the pageant, I had thought that obviously I needed to know how to walk on stage and all that. Thing is with me, I'm not really, prior to that, I've never really had practice on how to walk on stage, especially the pageantry walk kind of a thing. So I never really had a foundation. I have had a foundation on that, but I kind of forgot how to walk on stage. So I was really nervous because, you know, you find all those beautiful ladies there who really know how to walk the walk you know what i'm saying but i knew that i had confidence within myself i know that i'm one person who you know can talk i really love talking so much so i you know use that as something that i had within me so i entered the pageant went to the audition we auditioned and we had to wait i think for about a week before we got sms's as to whether we made it through to the semi-finals or not after a week or so we waited and i remember i was so nervous like i had waited the whole day i was so anxious the whole day because i was like I'm waiting for this sms and it was not coming through right so waited from morning it was afternoon now it was like late around i think I think eight or nine around that time it was very very late very very late and at, at the time i'd actually given up i was like you know what i didn't make it um at the pageant but it's okay you know try something out next time it's not the um it's not the last time you know it's actually the first time i entered so didn't really do that bad but it's okay so fast forward to that later in the evening around nine i received an sms and it says dear mapula which is my uh, first name um congratulations you have made it through to the semi-finals we started with our semi-final journey i think at the time we had to do uh oh no at the time i think it was votes so you had to you know get votes and all that you know make your own posters and it was really fun i really loved the way they um kind of navigated that kind of a thing but you know what we give you guys the, the the opportunity to make your own posters so after that i remember um we we finished with the semi-final journey then we had to wait again for the results as whether as whether or not you made it through to the um semi to the finals right to the finals so i remember again it was i think it was also late at night around that time yeah, i was late at night and then i was waiting for the sms because i was you know so fine i received the sms and it said congratulations again my player have made it through as a finalist guys i was so happy so i made it through to the final so now i remember at the finals um you were required to get votes 
uh, as well as doing community work which was so interesting for me first of all i was very new in mangueng so, you know i live in mangueng i'm not really familiar with the area because i just started living there just last year so i just lived there for about june july cause september about three months yeah three months of living there so i wasn't really familiar with the place i didn't know how to you know work things out but the the the, the, the activities that they've given us has really pushed me to actually making the means to reach out in order to be able to you know do the the community projects so after that i was actually puzzled because i didn't know where to start i don't know anyone around but i had so many great ideas you know especially when coming to 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 um to community projects i had so many ideas but I don't know anyone you know that will be able to help me implement those projects those projects so what I had done I think I went on Facebook I searched for uh, what search for I think non-profitable organizations and mango and something like that and I remember they came up uh, I think it's, it's an orphan center which is situated in mango and I uh, decided to take their numbers they screenshotted their numbers i took their numbers i whatsapp them i sent them a whatsapp text i'm like hello guys my name is so and so and so and so and so i'm doing this and this and this and this and i'd actually like to do something for the orphanage you know and you know all that because it was part of the community project so i remember the lady actually uh texted me and said yeah thank you you can feel free to do anything that you want to do here at the orphan center you know we're so open to receiving anything that you'd like to give to us so i remember then i went to the um, but again uh if you live around turf flip you will know around gate two there are those ladies and uh, gentlemen that sell veggies there then i went to buy veggies and then i took them to the orphan center you know and then the, that's when i met the lady of the orphan of the orphan center she explained to me the situation of the orphanage and um it's not it's not an orphanage where the kids live there they just come there to do their homework they come there to eat and yeah they assist them with some of the things so it's not an actual they, they know they don't live there they live around the area it's just that the center is there to assist them with their needs so i met the lady spoke to her and then you know she showed me around the place and things that they needed and to be honest guys that was really eye-opening like that was really eye-opening but at the time i didn't meet the kids i had hoped to meet the kids on the day but unfortunately it was on a saturday and i think saturdays they they don't go they don't go to the orphan center so i didn't meet them um on that day then again time went by time went by i remember this other time i was like you know what i feel like i want to meet these kids because i think it started to become so personal to me for some odd reason like it just started to become so personal to me with you know what i think i want to dedicate my time you know to finding out more of you know what's happening in the orphanage i want to meet the kids and just see how things are you know and went at the orphan center this other time i think it was on a thursday took a taxi to the orphan center i got there earlier and then I remember that, that during uh, that day, the ladies at the center had cooked the food that I bought, the veggies that I bought. So I went there and then I helped them to, you know, give a food to the kids and all that. Sat down and had conversation with the kids. It was really so eye-opening. I think at that time, I started to realize that it's not even about winning the pageant anymore, but about, um, you know, assisting and giving out. That is when I started to, you know, find the purpose of why why i actually entered this pageant i didn't know at the beginning but during the process i understood why i entered the 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 the, the the pageant i think it was around october when i realized that you know what now this thing is all about winning and i think i have found something that has fulfilled my soul you know like i don't really care much about winning you know winning is there yes and it's something good but i don't really it's not it's not my main goal you know my main goal is just to find out more about you know social economic issues you know community issues and all those kind of things and then okay so what have i learned from the the, the pageant you know during the the community project period so i've learned that as much as we say it is the government's responsibility to ensure sustainability within our societies, it is also our responsibility to also ensure the sustainability in our societies, you know, and there's so many ways in which we can do that, you know, through volunteering, actually, you know, just volunteering, helping out and, you know, making donations and all that. It doesn't, you don't have to do something big in order to help. You just take it one step at a time in order to ensure that now you bring sustainability within your community. So that is what I had learned that it is also our responsibility as people to contribute to ensuring that there is sustainability within our societies. The event took 
place on the 12th of December 2021 at Meropa Casino. I remember on the day I was really nervous, like I was very nervous. As much as I said that the uh, at, at some point during the competition, I was like, you know what, it's not about winning anymore. It got to me, like I'm telling you, it got to me, like, yo, you know what, I, I, I wish like I could win. Like, I think it's in each and every person's nature to say, you know what, as much as I don't want to win, but I want to win. You understand what I'm saying? So I was nervous that day, I remember. Uh, my sister came through she did my makeup you know she had all my clothes we had three outfits the first one was all black outfit uh we had a swimwear and we also had a a, a night gown dress so i'm gonna first put my the first outfit that i wore here it's actually this jumpsuit that i wore it has a slit it has some you know blingy blingy kind of a thing it was really beautiful like i saw myself as this pretty beautiful gorgeous lady so yeah we wore the first one and then the second outfit that we wore was a swimwear i don't have a picture of a swimwear because i don't take a picture but i'm gonna put up a video of how I was like a video on stage of how my swimwear was and then the last one that I wore was the black reddish goldish you know nightgown that I wore it was very very beautiful I got it at the at a boutique and this is how it looked it was very very beautiful so you know I was all dressed up I had my makeup done you know I was just feeling myself that day it was really great as much as it was great it was never wrecking as well because I had to work on stage you know okay so the first segment of the event was us walking on stage um, basically playing out a uh, a bit of a scene of the gender-based violence thing which is why we wore all black you know and it was it was really amazing when i watched the video of that i was like you know what this this whole uh segment or activity that we did on stage was very beautiful we went on stage without wearing any shoes were barefoot and our all black with our all black outfits then the second one we just walked on stage and then we we did an intro yeah we did an intro i don't remember but i think we did an intro and then we worked back out and then the last one also did something i don't remember what we did but yeah that is what we did on stage right but i'd known that for for a fact i known that my walking wasn't really great because i was just walking like yeah, I, mean, I was just walking <laughs> because i had no experience on that you know but you know it's something that probably will polish up on it right yeah and then at the end of the event i think they had top eight you know out of our category they had top eight they chose their top eight which was you know all gorgeous ladies that were there and they went on stage i think they asked them questions and then after that we had the award ceremony now that is where it got me okay so after they had called out the top eight and had realized that i'm not on the top eight i was like you know that's fine you know actually it wasn't really about winning anymore because you know I had said that it wasn't about winning as much as I wanted to win as well, but it wasn't about winning. That wasn't my goal. Then we, I went to sit, I uh, think backstage. No, not backstage. Yeah, I think backstage. Yeah, I think backstage. That, that is where I sat. We're just uh, listening to the, the other ladies while they were answering their questions. And then after that, they had an award, I uh, think award ceremony kind of a thing. That is when they called out all the people who obtained different awards. And then they called out, they're like, um, so we have people's choice awards the uh, number number two second runner is so and so and so and so and so and then they said first runner it's me and bear in mind at that time i just you know i was just i was just out you know and they called my name and i went you know to stage running I was so excited i was like you know what is going on now because i didn't expect to you know get this but you know i got it i was so happy took it uh took took my my set so this is my sash this is the miss capricorn public choice award first runner then they called my name and i went to receive this guys i was so happy okay i remember like my family members were like chanting at the back calling my name no it felt really great like it felt like victory you know it felt like victory and then i went backstage i was so happy i remember uh, my sister came and gave me a hug and all that and like okay now we're moving on to the next category which is the beauty with a purpose award they like um the beauty with purpose award they called out their names called out their names and then all of a sudden they're like contestant number 25 i think it was contestant number 25 yeah contestant number 25 and that was me like i was freaking out because i wasn't sure if they were talking about me or not but i was like contestant number 25 and i went on stage can i tell you my family members <laughs> so this is the 
the the, the sash that i've got so these are the two sashes that i've obtained during the pageant and with the beauty with purpose uh one i just it just showed me that um the pageant wasn't really about winning as i had said it was more of you know discovering what my purpose is and you know working it all out and then the people's choice award sash has shown me that you know actually I do have supporters you know if you work hard there are actually people who are there for me the people who believe in my dreams and that gave me immense sense of pride because you know what i actually have people who have my back you know so yeah those are what i got and then <clears throat> these are just two sessions that i got the, the the finalist sash that we got at the session ceremony and then i think i have two we have two i remember they gave us this one first and then the second one they they gave us another one i don't remember for what reason but yeah so yeah that is what had happened at the main event and that is what i had obtained the last thing that i wanted to say is that the miss capricorn district uh pageant is officially open for 2022 slash 2023 so if you want to enter you can go through to the instagram page it's miss capricorn district pageant or oh, i'll put the the instagram thing in here the instagram handle here so that you can go check it out they have a link there you can go onto the link i think it gives you a uh, a form to fill in on how to enter the pageant so one last thing the date of the auditions is on the 2nd of july 2022 so i would encourage you ladies and gents to enter the pageant you know it teaches you a lot and i think during the pageant there are some of the things that you're gonna learn it's not really about winning but you know it is what it is so good luck to some of you ladies who are entering from me personally i would encourage you to enter the pageant because it opens your eyes in so many ways you know you get to learn a lot of different things you know so to some of you ladies who are entering good luck and i hope this video will be helpful to that lady who hasn't entered the pageant yet you know i'm, I'm, I'm urging you to enter the pageant because it's really an eye-opening journey so thank you so much ladies for watching my video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did do so please do not forget to comment down below i almost forgot what i wanted to say <laughs> do not forget to comment down below give my video a thumbs up also check me out on my social media page and again don't forget to give it a shot right mm -hmm.